Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So earlier this year, back in February, Microsoft officially confirmed that Windows 11 24H2 would be released later this year and not Windows 12, which was originally uh, thought to be the case. And I'll leave that video in the end screen if you'd like some more info. Now, because Microsoft's focus now is fully on to Windows 11 24H2, and because we haven't spoken about a possible Windows 12 release for quite some time on the channel, I thought this may be a good time to ask the question, is Windows 12 still a thing? And what it might include and when it could possibly roll out and a couple of possible features. And my reason for this is because um, the next version of Windows, as mentioned, is this year's annual feature update which is uh, the Windows 11 2024 update, also known as version 24H2. The 24 stands for the year the update is released, and H2 means it's rolling out in the second half of the year. Now, as mentioned, um, originally it was rumored, as we've been talking about, that this Windows 11 24H2 release would be a possible Windows 12. And I'll leave a Windows 12 playlist right here in the end screen of this video, um, because it will give you a little bit more information regarding um, a possible Windows 12. And the reason why Microsoft um, scrapped Windows 12, as I've mentioned previously, was it was a bit of a shakeup um, with the leadership over at Microsoft. And that was with the departure of ex-Windows lead Panos Panay. And with him leaving at that time, they thought that, um, they felt that adding a Windows 12 would further defragment the OS, so they decided to focus fully on Windows 11 24H2 and scrap Windows 12. And um, obviously now Windows 11 24H2 is getting a lot of these so-called AR functionality and AR PC components that were originally thought to be rolling out to Windows 12. Now, the next, because of this, the next possible release date and time for Windows 12 could possibly be um, the same time next year as uh, the 24H2 feature update is rolling out this year, starting September, October next year, 2025. And that means that Microsoft could possibly announce Windows 12 earlier on in the year. And this would follow the same path as Windows 11 did when Microsoft first announced Windows 11 back in 2021. Now, the possible system requirements uh, for a Windows 12 I think are going to be bumped up a little bit, especially when it comes to the RAM for your everyday user. Um, currently, the requirements for an AR PC are 16 gigabytes, as we have been speaking about on the channel, according to Microsoft. So I would say that Microsoft um, would take the minimum requirements for RAM as we see it currently for Windows 11. Uh, which is sitting at four gigabytes and i think they would bump that up to at least eight gigabytes if not 16 because of the ar um, focus and all, all of the ar functionality rolling out um currently later this year in windows 11 24 h2 and obviously we might see some features which are likely ar focused to be limited to more recent pcs with a neural processing unit and npu and if you want more information regarding NPU, just do a search on the channel because I have posted a couple of videos previously. And this also means that not all PCs, because of this, will be able to handle the functionality without the dedicated hardware. So because of this, I think Microsoft will bump up those system requirements for Windows 12 to at least 8 to 16 gigabytes of RAM. And at this stage, it's not known if an NPU will become um, a default requirement. It's too early to say. Um, personally, I don't think so, but it's too early to say. Now, what about the user interface um, for a possible Windows 12? Now, this is a very familiar uh, screenshot and mock-up of um, a leak at last year's um, 2022 conference where Microsoft act accidentally leaked an experimental user interface concept, which we are looking at now. And we've spoken about this quite in depth on the channel previously, um, which they could have possibly been working on for a future version of Windows. And here we can see the rounded floating taskbar, very much like Mac OS, uh, a translucent, transparent taskbar kind of at the top where we get our system tray to the top right, 
uh, your search and so on in the middle, centered, and then your weather widget here to the top left. Now at this stage, obviously, um, because this is a user interface concept and was just an experiment, um, at this stage, it's impossible to say uh, if this will be the user interface for a possible Windows 12. Now, the reason it could be or look similar to this is because, as many of you may well know, when we move from Windows 95, 98 to XP, Microsoft upgraded the user interface quite significantly. The same happened f with Vista, Windows 7, um, Windows 8, 10, 11, and so on. So um, basically, a new Windows product release usually comes with a significant update to the desktop user interface, as you may well know. So um, personally, I do think that Windows 12 um, if it's not looking similar to this, we'll bring a couple of user interface adjustments with a possible Windows 12 uh, release. And uh, um, obviously, when it comes to new features of Windows 12 at this stage, uh, because um, it's just based on theory and rumors and suggestions, at this point, we don't have any solid information about what sort of features it may include. But because Microsoft is focusing a lot now um, on AR, as we have been talking about, um, I think they are kind of further build on pushing AR and AI Explorer, as we've been talking about on the channel, into Windows 12. Um, uh, because as mentioned, Microsoft is working on an AR Explorer for uh, Windows 11 24H2, which is basically, as I've mentioned previously, going to be a souped up version of Copilot as we know it, and will be more further integrated into the actual OS than being a standalone app like Copilot currently uh, currently is. And you can also do a search for AI Explorer if you'd like some more information. So that's just a quick kind of catch up regarding Windows 12 um, at this stage. A lot of this is speculation, obviously. Um, obviously, Microsoft has never officially ever confirmed a Windows 12. And I thought this was just a good time to look at what it might include and when it may be released and some possible features and a possible user interface. But I personally do think um, because the so-called AR aspect is now being pushed solidly by Microsoft, um, I do I personally think that Windows 12 and Microsoft is just going to carry on with the AR in Windows 12. And I think we could also see a possible bit of a user interface adjustment and upgrade when it comes to the look and feel of a, a possible Windows 12, but obviously if I get any information um, hinting or moving in that direction, I'll keep you guys posted and in the loop. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.